Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jakhtiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene. And in today's episode, we've got a high gain shootout for you, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get to that, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. Today, under $200, can these boxes of true mayhem give you that degenti sound? Is it degentle enough for you, for your guitar? Well, I've got 11 high gain distortion boxes under $200 US dollars. The first is the classic OCD. Yes, some of you I know are saying that it's more of a boost, but yes, it can also give you some really good high gain tones. Then the Metal Zone, the Wazakraft Metal Zone. Then the Pathos Abasi Concepts pedal. It's superb, it sculpts really well. Um, uh, it's made by Brian Wampler, so I'm sure it's gonna be good. We've got uh, the one, the obvious choice for everyone, the BEOD from Friedman. Um, we've got the DS1X, which is one of my favorite pedals, which is on my board. It's from Boss. We've also got the Fender Pugilist Distortion. Now, this is a bit of a dark horse. Not many people know about this. It's, it's pretty budget friendly and uh, it's supposed to be a, a really good pedal. We're going to find out. We've got the Paul Gilbert PG14. I'm really looking forward to trying out this pedal. Um, Paul Gilbert, as you know, is you know a big fan of high gain tones and cranked marsh lamps. You dirty little rag. Yeah, you can't have a distortion shootout under $200 without this fellow, the Pro Crow Rat. I'm going to give you to my little pussycat later on, in case you don't behave yourself. All right, then like the rat, we've got the fangs. I think it's a copy of the rat. I'm not sure, but it's a nice pedal. It's high gain, it's cool. It's from TC Electronics. We're going to shoot it out. Then we've got the flip, 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 pretty flip. Pedals, slick drive, and it's a budget friendly mini pedal. And can it the gent? We'll find out. Um, and last but not least, we've got the Pit Viper from Animal Factory Amplification. Um, we've done a, you know an extensive review on this product, and it's fantastic. It's got some amazing boost-ish style rock and roll tones up to you know soaring metal tones. Uh, of course, it's not as high gain as, uh, you know, the God Eater, but it's under 200 US dollars. That's slightly above it. So we can't use that in this shootout. Um, even the, the Rev uh, G3, G4 are all about $200. So, you know, they're not eligible for this shootout. And of course, the Kraken. Um, if you like this video and, you know, we get a good response, maybe we'll do a, a post uh, 200 US dollar shootout. Uh, with those pedals, um, maybe even, uh, you know, plug them into my uh, Rev G20 amp. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is, since this is a budget shootout, I want to showcase um, how good these are, not into a tube amp, uh, not acting as a boost to an already good sounding distortion or an overdrive uh, amp, overdriven amp. I want this to go basically into a clean amp setting. So I'm going to use my cab M. I'm going to have the reverb off. I'm going to have all the settings at 12 o'clock. Uh, the gain will be at nine o'clock. Um, you know, we're just going to have a cleanish sound. That's it. There should be nothing coming, no grit coming from, uh, you know, the amp itself. We're going to be powered by the NRG uh, solo power supply. They're excellent. I'm going to leave a link for them in, uh, you know, the description below. We're also going to use Brigu's uh, tone door, the tone door cables, you know, um, go check out his uh, Facebook page. He's got some excellent stuff, really, really good products uh, as well. Um, enough talking, Shantanu is going to play a loop on this beautiful seven string Jeff Loomis guitar from Shekta and uh, we're just going to do a simple loop, the genti loop and I'm going to tweak uh, the gain knob. Uh, if there are different, uh, you know, dip switches for uh, activating different things. We will play around with all of those. Let's get to the shootout. Thank you. 
So that was the shootout. Which was your favorite? Did you have a favorite? Well, I did, definitely. Which was your least favorite? Let me know in the description below. Now, we didn't have time to put these into a tube amp. Obviously, that would make a difference. That would be a completely different dynamic. Um, yes, uh, you could play around with a lot of the mid settings, a lot of the bass settings, the treble settings, and get, you know, completely different sounds. So they're not all bad. They all can be useful. But um, let me talk about the ones that I was not really too pleased with, to be honest with you. Uh, the PG-14. I mean, it's like a, it's like a, like a low gain fuzz at certain points. You know, it, it, I'm, I'm surprised. That's in my books not very good. I mean, I might, uh, you know, even do a separate uh, Paul Gilbert uh, pedal extravaganza and use uh, the Mojo Mojo with this and see if I can get some decent sounds into a, a Marshall amp. But um, definitely not one of my favorites. The OCD was good. Uh, it's it it is more than a boost. Definitely, it is more than a boost. But it was yeah, it was it was basically something which I would say was not a, a real the gentleman's favorite uh, you know uh, pedal uh, for high gain metal for you know for genty stuff. I, I wouldn't recommend these two pedals. No way. The Pugilist. Now for rock tones, for uh, high gain tones, this is amazing. This You can sculpt your tone really well with this. I wouldn't say it's something, uh, you know, fantastic for genty sounds, but it was good. It was really good. Uh, the Rat, not bad, not bad at all. In your face, you know, just smack it. That's it. It was just one of those uh, all or nothing kind of sounds. And coming to the Slick Drive, um, this is a pedal that's under 50 US dollars and sometimes you can even get it as low as 40 US dollars, 3000 rupees, 2500 rupees depending on when you buy it on sale. Um, if you're a beginner and you need, you don't have uh, the kind of budget to buy some of the other pedals, just, just go for this. It's fantastic. It fits a, a small board, a um, small footprint for even larger boards. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty amazing even though it's not as um, you know, high gainy or as refined a sound as the others. I think this was was also pretty good. Uh, Fangs was also okay, not bad. I liked it. Um, DS1X definitely is on my board. I, I love it, but uh, it wasn't as good as some of the others for sure. Uh, the Metal Zone was also good. It was very good. I, I'm surprised. The the Waza Craft one's definitely better than the uh, the normal one. Even the Pit Viper was really good. I mean. It's very, it's very um, dynamically oriented. I think one of the modes put it into like a mad zone, you know, and definitely you could get your super high gain, super metal sounds with it. But um, I think the two favorite ones for me, uh, without a doubt, were the Pathos and the uh, BOD. I mean, the Pathos had, um, a low volume output compared to the BOD. I mean, it sculpts really well. I think on the uh, on one of the settings, it's it, it's very modern. It's I think the edge setting. Yeah, I think it's really good. It's 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 definitely up there. Um, but the BOD is just like smack it in your face with everything you've got. Um, it's just a crazy pedal, you know. Um, it's not for me. I'll be honest with you. I'm I'm not a big fan of the BOD pedal. Uh, but if you're looking for the extremity of gain, uh, yeah, this is it, you know. Um, but in terms of sculpting for a more refined, high gain, precision kind of a sound, I would probably go for this. This is definitely uh, one of my favorites. So I think in, all in all, these two definitely, you know, um, under $200, wow, I mean, they're fantastic. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you press that like button, click the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. In order to promote our videos on YouTube, we require a lot of interaction from you guys. So your comments, your shares and your likes all do help. Also, if you want to help us in making more videos, become a member on GigZ. Our GigZ page link is in the description below we've got courses and a lot of other stuff also on that um, we're on social media make sure you're following us to stay up to date with all our latest activities and above all else make sure you stay safe by taking steam washing your hands and wearing your mask and rock on